I'm Don Pilmore. I'm Director of Operations for Energy Fuels Resources. Uh, we're a uranium mining company. We have both uh, ISR and conventional assets. And I'm based in the uh, Fredonia field office that oversees operations of the Brexia pipe mines on the Arizona Strip. Currently, we're sinking shaft at our canyon deposit. We also have a deposit that's located on Arizona state land called the Wait, which is north of Seligman. And then in addition to that, we have uh, numerous resources and uh, properties that are permitted. Uh, for example, like the Dineros, uh, the Henry Mountains complex, the LaSalle complex. Those are all on standby. We also have the Roca Honda deposit in New Mexico, which is one of the uh, largest resources that has not been developed left in the United States that's a proven resource. And then we have uh, the Sheep Mountain properties up around Jeffrey City, Wyoming and the Gas Hills. And we have uh, our Nichols Ranch property, which is an ISR project where we are producing uranium from uh, in-situ leach operation. The uh, properties that we've worked in uh, northern Arizona on what we call the Arizona Strip are comprised of uh, the Arizona One mine. This project, uh, we had mined out the economic resource approximately a year and a half, two years ago. We do have a remaining resource, but the mine's on standby, waiting for the uh, market to recover. The Pine Nut Project, which is this property here, it's located approximately 10 miles from the Arizona One Brexit Pipe. And we mined this mine out. We depleted the resource at the end of September 2015. Uh, all of the equipment and supplies have been pulled out of the mine. We're currently moving those materials into, t into our Fredonia office and we will be moving into reclamation on the uh, Pine Nut Mine within the next six months. The active project that we have is our Canyon Mine. This uh, mine is located approximately uh, 10 miles south of Tucson, Arizona, and uh, we are currently sinking shaft on the canyon, uh, and we uh, hope to develop the canyon mine and, and bring it into production within the next two years. So that's kind of where we're at. We have been a, a major producer in uh, Arizona for the last three or four years and uh, we hope to continue. This ore all goes to our White Mesa mill in uh, Blanding, Utah. We have both the conventional mill feed that we ship from Arizona to the mill and then we also uh, take uh, alternate feed material. What we generate through the White Mesa Mill is yellow cake. And uh, for example, we say that the Arizona Strip are some of the richest uranium deposits in the United States. That being said, the average grade of the ore that's been mined on the uh, Arizona Strip in northern Arizona is 12 pounds of uranium for every 2,000 pounds of rock, or one ton and that's considered high grade. Um, and so that material is shipped to our blanding mill and from that they pull the uh, uranium out of that rock and the, the uranium they pull out is called yellow cake. The yellow cake is shipped to uh, fuel processing facilities and uh, made into fuel pellets for nuclear reactors. We sell uranium to several utilities here in the United States uh, we also uh, will sell to any uh, nuclear power plant that's in the need of fuel. One thing about uranium, everybody's uranium, whether it comes from Russia or Africa or uh, Australia, Canada, all the uranium is the same. Once it becomes yellow cake, everybody's yellow cake is the same and you can make the same fuel pellets with it. Underwriters of the Arizona Mining Review include Mining Foundation of the Southwest, a nonprofit organization based in Tucson, Arizona, working to educate the public about mineral resources and the mineral extraction and processing industries.